As I mentioned earlier in the film, as I was mixing my colors, I tried to keep the valley notes a little lighter than they needed to be. Quite often, I glaze a warm color over the entire painting. The natural world is filled with infinite variables of color and values, usually transparent veils of color masses. The challenge is to capture the essence of this characteristic while maintaining harmony and spatial order. Glazes are an effective method of developing interesting layers of these variables. The use of thin veils of glazes can mimic this effect, enhancing the illusion of depth. To prepare the canvas to accept a glaze layer, it helps to re-oil the surface. I prefer to use oleogel. I do not use the same glaze colors on every painting. I let the location and the concept dictate the hue. In this case, I felt the painting needed a combination of transparent red oxide and yellow ochre due to the time of day, the temperature, and the month. It is a very similar color to my underpainting. In other words, most of my paintings are sandwiched in between two warm layers of paint. The day I painted was a very comfortable late summer afternoon with a sunny glow and a glaze color needed to enhance that aspect. I feel my landscape paintings have a plastic-like feel until I apply the glazes. Some artists are able to successfully achieve this characteristic in one pass or a la prima. I find that glazing breathes life into the landscape, creates harmony, and can embellish the perception of depth.